Meantime, tonight on 7 Up Front, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle joining us right now to talk about how the county is responding to the devastation left behind by the tornado there that ripped through Armada. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We certainly appreciate your time as always. You bet, Carolyn. Thank you. So the damage is really devastating in Armada with uh, many still without power, some without home. So what are efforts right now uh, for those impacted by this tornado? Yeah, I think we're fortunate. I mean, as has been mentioned many a time, very limited or minimal injuries are reported, uh, not in Macomb County. Uh, fortunately, there wasn't one reported. Uh, with that being said, I think it's a credit to, you know, all the alert systems, people listening to newscasts like yours. Uh, people really paid attention. And when they heard this was coming, uh, they took shelter, they took heat. And uh, with that being said, no injuries. But the response to this was immediate. I mean, from our emergency management, working with the fire departments, the police departments, and uh, all the utilities, when this thing did hit, it was uh, all hands on deck. It was absolutely amazing because I was there uh, right as it hit, uh, got there, and you could just see the uh, the incredible work the fire department did. I mean, they were the backbreaking work they did of going out there and trying to figure out how do they get through some of the debris, getting to homes and checking on people to see if everybody's okay, uh, just trying to figure out what we had going on there in the midst of the night. And then, uh, boy, as we're here, sitting here today, DTE and the crews they put out there, phenomenal work. I mean, they've pretty much got this place all cleaned up. Uh, and as was just mentioned uh, by Dave earlier, this particular tornado was on the ground for 14 minutes. So there was a lot of damage done uh, and destruction. But with that being said, uh, the community came together and just seeing the people there and, and communicating and talking to them, everybody's in an uplifting spirit, surprisingly. And uh, they're all there trying to figure out how do we help one another? Neighbors helping neighbors, but also strangers helping strangers uh, going through this. Amazing to hear that. And all of our reporters, as they're on the ground talking to people, you could you can hear the uplifting spirit of people, even though they're dealing with all of this devastation. Now, you mentioned the alert system. So let's talk a little bit about tornado warning sirens. How crucial were they in saving lives on Saturday? You know, that's it. I heard them uh, here. I'm, I'm in Macomb Township, just south of where this happened. When I heard the tornado sirens going off, uh, right away you're thinking, okay, something, somebody sees something, there's something going on, and people need to, need to take cover. So I got, you know, my my police monitor radio, I had that. And so with that being said, uh, you heard everything happening as it was going on. But from everyone I talked to, they said they heard the alarms, they took heed, uh, they took shelter. So these things are without question extremely important. And uh, as I mentioned, newscasts and getting ahead of these storms and people paying attention, uh, I think that's what really helped, uh, you know, minimize uh, the injuries uh, in this particular situation here. You can't control the damage. Uh, the tornado is going to take, you know, take its course and do what it does. But for the most part, people did pay attention. And I mean, how many people you, you've been listening to in this newscast uh, said, you know, they got into a closet, they got into the basement, uh, they took cover. And uh, fortunately, uh, listening to, you know, these alert systems makes, makes a huge difference. Good deal. Uh, what should people do to prepare for possible future weather threats uh, like this one? What is your word to everybody? I mean, we know how people are responding right now, but is there a way for people to better prepare? I got to tell you, if, if there's a way to prepare, you take example of what they did up in Armada, because those people, for some reason, uh, not only were they prepared, you know, to kind of take shelter and, and handle the situation, but the immediate aftermath, you know, with public safety being there on the spot, uh, people within the community and people from outside the community coming in, you know, with with every type of apparatus you can imagine, and uh, the chainsaw. Even during your broadcast, uh, you know, when you have uh, your, your reporters on the scene, you're listening. You can hear those chainsaws in the background. So, again, being prepared is one thing. Having the support of your your public safety entities uh, extremely important. You know, we train in this, we practice for these type of things. Uh, but just having a community coming together, and you know, like, Carol, I got to tell you, I, I was there, and I mean, for three hours walking around those communities in the aftermath of this, wasn't one person complaining. But there were so many people sharing stories about how people were helping one another, and uh, you know it was almost it was almost uplifting being there, uh, listening to the spirit of these people saying we're going to get through this, we're going to be all right, and uh, you know meeting new people during this process. So this this tremendous adversity really created an opportunity for for people to be I guess strengthened in their relationships and saying you know what we can make it through this, we can make it through through many others if if they come our way. Well, we're so glad to hear you say that. We know you always have a, a positive, uplifting spirit, and you are a busy man. You said you're going to be back out there tomorrow, so we certainly appreciate your time and for joining us tonight on 7 uh, Up Front. You bet. Thanks, Carol. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay safe.